So did you know that you can play Nintendo, GameCube and Wii games on the Apple Silicon Mac? This is all possible thanks to an emulator called Dolphin. So today I'm going to show you the whole process of how to go ahead and install the Dolphin emulator, how to get Wii and GameCube games working, how to pair a Bluetooth controller and set it all up, how to load up the Wii GameCube ISOs and how to get all of these games working as well as possible on the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you've got an M1, M2 or M3 Mac or any future M chip, then this is going to be working for you. So what we're going to do here is to go to the dolphin-emu.org website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And then we're going to press the download button on the homepage here. And then we're going to scroll down until we find the macOS ARM Intel Universal Binary. And we're going to download the latest version. So at the time recording is this one here, 20347. And we're going to press this blue button here and it's going to download for us. So press allow and it's gonna go into our downloads folder. Then we're gonna go into Finder, and then we're gonna to go to Downloads. And then we have our Dolphin Master Universal DMG, which we're gonna double click on. And then we're going to drag and drop both of these applications into the applications folder. So just drag and drop and pop it into the applications folder. So then what we're gonna do is to go to the applications folder and then scroll down until we find Dolphin. So we're gonna double click on the main Dolphin application. And then here we're gonna press open and then Dolphin is gonna open up here. So here we're gonna allow bug reports to go through to the developer and then we are ready to go and now we're ready to set up so i do recommend that you pair a controller of some kind so you can use a joy con you can use an xbox or ps5 controller so you can use nintendo switch controllers you can use emulated wii modes but i recommend using something like a ps5 ps4 or an xbox one or xbox series controller and uh, what we're going to do is make sure that we are paired onto bluetooth settings so just make sure you go to settings and then under bluetooth we have connected a ps5 dualsense controller so this is a playstation 5 dualsense controller each controller is going to be pairing slightly differently on a Mac. However, to put this in the pairing mode, we just hold down this button here and then hold down the home button until this starts to flash. So you can see the LED here has started to flash here. And then on the Mac side, you can see here there is a DualSense wireless controller appearing under nearby devices. Press the connect button and this is now connected up. You can see here that the DualSense LED has turned a solid blue light. So that means it's all paired up and ready to go. And what we're gonna do here is configure the GameCube controller. So press configure here, and then we're gonna select the PS5 controller that's already been paired. So here we're gonna select the PS5 controller that we've paired via Bluetooth. And then we're just gonna make sure that we rebind all of our keys so that we can actually control this. So just go through this whole process. So basically rebound the standard GameCube controller to my PS5 controller, and now we're done. So what we're gonna do now is to add some games. So I can't show you where to download these GameCube and Wii ISOs, but basically you can rip them from a jailbroken Wii or GameCube. I'm gonna double click on this blank space. I'm gonna set an emulation ROM directory. So I'm gonna select my Wii GameCube folder, press open, and then we've got a bunch of games loaded up here. So what I'm gonna be doing is loading up Mario Kart Double Dash, double click, and that started loading this up. One more thing that we can do is to change the graphics settings so that we can get the most out of this. So generally speaking, you wanna to go to enhancements and then we wanna change the internal resolution to something a little bit more challenging. So uh, for this particular recording, we're gonna be going at 3X native, which is 1080p. And now I'm gonna press close. And then basically we're gonna close this and then reopen this. So as you can see, Mario Double Dash works pretty damn well. Despite the fact that this is a GameCube game running on the Apple Silicon Mac, we're able to run at high resolution. Here we're playing Rogue Squadron 2, which is a notoriously difficult game to emulate. And here we're running at 60 FPS on the base M3 Mac. And here we have Tatsunoko versus Capcom, which is a Wii game, also running at a really good frame rate and resolution. This is the racing game Automobilista, which runs at 60 frames per second. Also a difficult game to emulate, but runs really great on Dolphin. And lastly, this is Zelda Ocarina of Time. So this is a game that's capped to 30 frames per second, but still looks pretty damn great at four times native resolution. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.